Yeah. Owen told me not to worry about it. You're in the vanguard, right? Hey. Thanks for your service. dressed to impress. Here on business, or just out to escape? Well, consider me intrigued. All right, stranger. Let's hear it. Be postponed. Thank you for the insight. town for business. My client leaves a mess, I clean it up. I'm an independent contractor, working for some very wealthy clients. They open deals, I close them. It's the world's most exotic accident. They found the drug in the fish oil of all things. But oil is an old story, one of grease and flame. The grease turns the wheels of commerce and the flame attracts the moths. So be careful walking these streets, my delicate little insect. Venture too close and you'll burn your wings. There might be. I originally came here to complete a business deal, but the client in a fit of foolishness decided to close on their own. Rather than dispose of the evidence properly, they left it in a warehouse. Real amateur stuff. So there are some loose ends that need tying, and I prefer a third party handle it. Would you be interested? It's a simple job. I need you to pick something up and sell it. Giving you any more information would be unwise. I'm giving you half of my usual fee, which, according to my clients, is a ransom three times over. But I'm worth every cred. You'll find the merchandise in a locker in the warehouse behind Neon Tactical. Gangs in Ebside often use that area to peddle their sunshine and lollipops. So if shit's pakaru, you'll have to improvise. Once you secure the merchandise, sell it to Coleman Lang at the Trade Authority, so it's part of their regular inventory. Return here when the job is done. Excuse me. Now 
you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? You can look, but we both know what you're here for. A bit of Aurora, right? Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Of course, and what name is the Sweet Under? It just so happens I spoke to Miss Hart earlier today to assist with some arrangements. So, how may I really assist you? Perhaps it depends on your definition of what's reasonable in this situation. Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. I suppose I can reduce the fee for a replacement key, since this is your first time. Of course. Here's your key, and I hope you continue to enjoy your stay at the Astro Lounge. Yes, what? and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself, you either got great taste or great connections. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. Sounds like a bad marriage. <laughs> and I can only afford one of those. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look, it was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you.
think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Literally. change. You can't even imagine how many people ask for an autograph or picture after we've been modding all night. It gets really annoying. Programming the beats? Turning the dials? Come on, stay with me here. Hey, I love my fans. I just don't like when they take things too far, you know? My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing, and someone ripped me off. Total drag. I started playing music when I was ten. My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me, and I fell in love with the thing. By the time I was fifteen, I got my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am, booked into the hottest club in the settled systems. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Hey there, what's up? Oh yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know, if you listen. The trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. I got close to that state a few times, but reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. Oh man, wow, that would be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. The thing is, I perform here at the lounge every single night. Which means I can't repeat the same set over and over. I have to keep it real. Songs, lyrics, poems, all of my thoughts, basically. We're talking three years of stuff. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration are long gone, out of my mind. That's why I write them down. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Hmm. Well, most of the people who come through here are fans, and they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. Doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. See you on the flip.
Ready to report? Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. It is good that our restraint is appreciated. Don't tell me you forgot already. Our financial guru? They're brilliant with numbers. Also, if you ever want an honest opinion about anything, just ask them. They're honest to a fault, and often give their opinion on something whether you want it or not. Only as common as the flawless assignments you pull off. No one wants to clean up a mess. It takes a toll on several departments, which is why we like to promote a clean assignment. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. Not quite. When you uploaded that virus onto Keltcorp's network, that was a warning intended to slow down their internal productivity. Keltcorp suffered the effects of that silently, although I guarantee they endured some serious client complaints. This assignment is about making our target look completely negligent in the public eye. Let's just say we don't tolerate theft or smear campaigns against us. If you want to steal in this industry, you better not get caught. And if you want to tarnish our good name, you better be ready for repercussions. A heavy hand is often needed to make sure we get our point across. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. ARC stands for Assault, Reprogram, Corrupt. We think of it as a multi-tool of sorts. The ARC locates hard wiring and manipulates the information current being sent back and forth. Depending on the situation, it's designed to do all sorts of things, but inevitably, they all result in malfunction. You can call it what you like, but most importantly, it's your next assignment. You're not wrong. Believe me, we don't take these assignments lightly. They're also one of few that Masako herself needs to sign off on, and only our most trusted operatives receive them. You just need to plant the Ark and avoid detection. Our technicians will handle the rest, and they're instructed to avoid as much harm as possible. Your concern is noted, but unfortunately, extreme measures are the only ones that work in a situation like this. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako was pretty happy about the results, so she arranged for a small bonus through Linden. It won't buy you a new ship, but it's something. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Several other parties will be involved in that deal on a more legitimate level. And believe me, bonuses like this for operatives are few and far between. Why did I have a feeling you'd bring that up? 
You've still got quite a ways to go, so let's keep it real and get back to basics. You can think of this next assignment as a stepping stone on your way to greatness. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. Correction. You are going to steal from them. Don't forget, if you get caught, Ryujin will deny all knowledge. Oh, we definitely are. But why stay one step ahead when you can just leave the competition in the dust? We reverse engineer their plans, create a superior product, and beat them to market. We make the initial profit with less investment in R&D, and our competition is forced to reevaluate if their product is even viable. Call it what you want, but it's your job nonetheless. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. The star yard is a mix of sales floor and manufacturing. If you're looking to blend in, you've definitely got options. It's not too far, in Aquila's orbit, so hopefully your ship's ready. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line Star Yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught, and don't make a mess. You don't appear to have an appointment, but we welcome walk-ins. Doc, and let's see how Trident Luxury Lines can help you. You've arrived at the pinnacle of comfort and luxury. Trident Luxury Lines. You're clear to dock. With Doc. I'm sure whoever's in that ship will be thrilled to see you. And it tells jokes, too. <sighs> well, I suppose since you're here, enjoy being in the presence of greatness. It's here that I, well, we create the next generation of Trident starships. Oh, yes, I am. I am Gladys Coffin, Chief Architect of Trident. If you have any other questions, make it fast. <laughs> oh my, that's just priceless. Balancing elegance with the strict engineering requirements of spaceship travel. That's not science. It's art. An art I'm particularly skilled at. Am I famous? <laughs> well, my many, many awards and achievements should give you some idea. Listen, if you want to talk about the max safe tonnage of the Astra or other trivia, ask Gia. Me? I design the future. What great new heights we can go to. Oh, why, thank you. Yes, I've recently won my second Grand Nova Award for Excellence. It's a great honor, but after receiving so very many awards and distinctions, they all start to blend together. Yes, I do think I deserve some reward for my considerable virtuosity. I've heard some associates singing the praises of a certain... something... hailing from Neon. Velocity, I believe it is called. It's some drink or food or something else. I haven't any idea what it actually is, but my curiosity is getting the better of me. 
You seem to have nothing better to do. Would you care to go fetch me one of these velocities? <laughs> I don't much care which variety you get. And of course you'll be reimbursed. Ah, oh, fantastic. I look forward to seeing what all the excitement's about. In my line of work, one cannot be small-minded. As Trident's chief architect, no. As their premier artiste, I must find inspiration in everything. Can you get that done? Is it just the person I wanted to see? You got that schematic? We'll have our research and development team take a look. If there's anything notable, we'll reverse engineer it, then recreate it with our own spin. And believe me, by the time our engineers are through, Trident won't even recognize it. Good work. R&D's been looking forward to this one. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process, but first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor, where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. waiting for more info. As usual. Imogene told me she hired another operative. Welcome to the team. I mean, it's great. As far as I'm concerned, I have a lot of respect for Imogene. She's not afraid to take what she wants. <laughs> and hates paperwork as much as I do. But what I like the most? She trusts us to get things done. None of that micromanaging crap. I can't speak for what every operative does. Uh, people tend to keep their cards close to the chest in operations. But me personally, I'm a field agent. I specialize in gathering intel that our techs can't get, especially blackmail material on high profile clients and execs. Most assignments take me to the Astral Lounge or Paradiso. It's an incredible job. Great perks too. I spend most of my time undercover living in luxury. It says something, does it not? That the executives wish to have everyone else physically beneath them? The Eugen certainly spared no expense on their exec floor. The Custodians just finished polishing everything. Keep your hands to yourself. Welcome to Ryujin Tower. Enjoy your day. Sure do. And I'm not interested in discussing it with you. I've kept this job for almost a decade by being tight-lipped, and that's not going to change now. Well, I'm not the only Ellicott working in Ryujin Tower. 
My daughter Jupiter works at the front desk, and my wife Nancy works for Tranquility. It is. We're a close-knit little family. I like getting to see them on my breaks. Plus, it gives me the perfect excuse to brag about my daughter. <laughs> I'm happy to help. Where can I point you? The executive floor houses all of Ryujin's board members, with the exception of Dr. Kalra, who's located in research and development. Head up the stairs to your left, then up another flight of stairs straight ahead. The CEO Imada's office is on the top floor. Her assistant, Maeve, can direct you from there. Anything else I can help you with? Miss Chen's office is up the stairs to your left, then a quick walk down the hall and up another flight of stairs. They're hard to miss. Her office is right across from CEO Imada's. Her assistant, Maeve, can direct you if you get lost. Anything else I can help you with? Again, happy to help. Enjoy your day. I hope you find who you're looking for. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your visit more comfortable. I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? Simply put, our goal is to ensure the success of this company and keep things running smoothly. We supply our various departments with whatever resources they need in order to meet expectations to achieve this. It's much easier said than done, believe me. In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do, and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. And on top of all that, a flawless record. It's no wonder they love you up here. I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. Good. Then you shouldn't have any trouble. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So if you have negotiation skills, use them. Simon's been working with us for years, so he'll pose no threat to you. He's paranoid, which is why I assume he's never been caught. But his information is typically worth it. Now in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Genie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Razor Derby is the only real sport. Yes, got it. According to Simon Rychek, it's the only real sport in the galaxy. But if you want a lesson in sports, just ask him. Movies are more my thing when it comes to entertainment. They're a batball team that sucks. They have about as much chance of winning the Universal Championship as Aurora does of going legal outside of Neon. Simon despises batball though, which is why he crafted that response you give in return. You'll find him in Sidonia, so I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Lux condos in the plaza. 
You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Thanks for the vote of confidence. All questions and concerns should be directed at Miss Salzo. I've got my ass quiet up here. Well, that wasn't too bad for your introduction. What do you think of Ularu? Good call. Let me know if you have any questions regarding your assignment. And enjoy your time in Sidonia. It's certainly no neon. For you? <laughs> no. Only Ularu calls me that. And it's not up for negotiation. I worked with Simon a lot in my time as a field op. He's a perpetually grumpy man, but I think he just likes to keep his distance. Getting close to people isn't a luxury he can afford in his line of work. Much like ours. Only that it's vastly different than Neon. There's not glitz and glam where Sidonia is concerned. And don't worry about it being in UC territory. Simon's smart, so any physical information he may hand off to you won't set off any alarms. Just make sure your ship is clean before reaching Mars' orbit. Remember, Aurora is illegal there, so if you have any on you, it needs to stay here. The community center on P1 is a good place to connect with How's the saying go? Show no mercy, leave no quarter? Yeah, well, see ya. Do you imagine anyone actually enjoys living here? I simply cannot. You lost? Or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day's going? Ugh. Only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. Not a sports fan, eh? Why don't you take a hike? You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Staryards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes, but that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. At least you're being open about the fact that you are gouging us. Very well. If we are not presented with a more reasonable offer, we will be left with no choice but to take the information. I don't think Ryujin would be too happy to hear about losing one of their informants. Hmm. Well, I do not work for Ryujin, so I care little what they might think. All I care about is a fair price. All right, all right, I get it. You want reasonable? This is as low as I go. <laughs> You're going to like it. As you may guess, being an informant is not without its risks. I've heard there's a merc in Saturn's orbit who'd like to cross my name off her list. Malai Liskova. If you take her out and bring me her gun as proof, I'll consider my feet to be waived. She's a freelance mercenary, 
used to work for Inception Technologies. But she likes her independence, so she went into business for herself. She specializes in killing for the right price. So before you get any second thoughts, you should think of it as doing the settled systems a favor. At least, not without a better reason. Well then, let's see those credits. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Getting information is what you people do. I'm just a lowly yet very well paid informant. Here to point you in the right direction. Best guess is it has something to do with <laughs> Infinity getting into the NeuroAmp business. Stanley McMillan seemed to think Ryujin would be the one company threatened by this news. So their entry must involve something big. Nice doing business with you. I never had the patience for computer systems. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Well, that took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. You've got a little spark in you. I like it. Now, let's see if what Mr. Rycheck found was worth all the fuss. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see. Got the key, deciphering, and done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. This is a sales initiative for Project Dominion. It's not an Infinity LTD design. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. any trouble. Hey, Em. Ularu? What is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> we need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Because you exposed this information, I have little reason to suspect you. That won't mean you'll be exempt from investigation, of course. Clearly this is not the first time Ryujin has found itself in this situation. I suppose, since we're trusting you in this investigation, I can give you some details. 
Project Dominion is our latest advancement in NeuroAmp technology. Our current NeuroAmps are all external devices, but Project Dominion would be the first surgically implanted internal NeuroAmp on the market. The project itself was nearing completion, which is why exposing the mole is of utmost importance. We can't allow any more research to fall into their hands. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. So much for any faith in our security team. Dalton's going to be on the job hunt if he can't figure this one out. Dalton. Ah, the lovely Miss Amada. How can I help? Cut the crap, Dalton. I'm sending an operative your way, along with some files, to your computer. I'll be ready. Not for this one, but I trust you'll get it done. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. Directive Theta allows for a third party to conduct the sweep. This way, the results can be objective. It's certainly a failing. But for now, we're focusing on redemption. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her. But he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. Ularu has the ability to thwart any investigation, so it's imperative she knows nothing about this directive. Her knowledge and talents are why she's the Chief of Operations. So she is the best equipped to evade detection. We don't deal in trust here. Think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case, it's mutual benefit. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program. Completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. Directive Theta requires utmost secrecy for success. We don't know what connections the Mole may have, so we can't risk informing our security team. If you get caught, the guards will follow standard procedure and lock you up in a cell for questioning. Provided you don't provoke them. And I strongly advise against provoking them. These are your fellow employees. We want this to go as smoothly as possible. We employ over 100 members of our security team who rotate floors and shifts. 
It's possible you'd be recognized, but even so, my orders will be strict. Authorized security personnel only. And you certainly won't qualify, making you an immediate suspect. If that's a joke, it isn't funny. We're trusting you to get this job done as discreetly as possible. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. It concerns me that you don't know. A disruptor is a non-lethal weapon. Our subsidiary, Arboron, makes an excellent one that I'll be issuing you. It will stun your target, giving you a chance to get away. But you'll only have so much time before the effects wear off. Ularu doesn't know about Directive Theta. But she'll fully expect a building closure while we investigate. As far as she knows, it's standard procedure. One that she no doubt has already made accommodations for. This is why we're bringing in a third party. She won't be expecting to go up against Neon's best. And it's also why secrecy is of utmost importance. Not even our own security detail can know, in case the information leaks. Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted.